everybody, Cypherboy here, and today I'm playing an episode of Majesty, and today we will be playing, um, let's see if I can, the Barren Waste, which is a beginner, um, scenario, so let's begin. Do not despair, your majesty. Though this swampy region has yet to be transformed into a comfortable abode, I'm sure we can fulfill your mother's dream. I suggest we start small and figure out a way to productively use more of this swampy ground. Perhaps building a festive fairground in the middle of this desolate quagmire will be sufficient proof of your achievement and ability. So for this one, the goal is to build a fairground to win the quest. <clears throat> no non-humans, races, or wizards available. Which means I need to get the castle up to level 3, and then I can build the fairgrounds. But I may need the little treasure first though. As usual, we get the notes. In order to build the fairgrounds, you must build up your palace to level 3. To upgrade your palace the first time, you need 4 heroes present in your realm, so get to work on building a guild right away. So I'll begin with that. Now I'll start with the rangers guild, because they're the ones who go around exploring everywhere. Um, it looks like I have less than 10,000 gold, so I need to conserve as much as I can. However, <clears throat> after um, the ranger skill is built, I'll go ahead and do a marketplace. Can I build it though? Maybe over here. That way, my heroes can get the potions they need. Another thing is this takes a few, um, a little bit of, t just a little bit of time to finish building. It's one of the quick build uh, buildings. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Now that you have built a guild. Recruit 4 heroes and then upgrade your palace to level 2. Also, upgrading your palace and building a fairgrounds will cost a lot of gold. Be sure you build a marketplace or two to help keep your income strong. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting on to it. That was my phone giving me a, a weather alerts. It's supposed to be storming today, so that's probably what it was. Maybe a... And usually does that with the lightning strike. Like it'll say a lightning struck within a mile or two of your location, so that's what that Robin, probably was. Your marketplace now serves you better. That is if you heard that in the background. So how much is that? Uh, once I, okay, 28.50, so I'll go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, I can begin doing the Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. upgrades to the um, blacksmith. 
I also need to do the marketplace, do a minimum, pick up a 50. Now that your palace is at level 2, it will, <coughs> it will take the presence of 12 heroes in order to upgrade it to level 3. Build some more guilds and recruit heroes until you can up upgrade the palace. Let's see if I can get my favorites. Building yes. Has been upgraded. The Temple of Crypta is my favorite. Because these are the necromancers with the skeletons and they can control the undead enemies. Go ahead and research protection rings because that'll give the kingdom more good. So the Temple of Crypta and the Cult Cultist Guild are two of my favorite ones because they give you more fighters Roman, your marketplace now serves you better. as they go along. <coughs> A new building is complete. Sister Dread. She'll create a skeleton as soon as she appears. <clears throat> Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly so empty. So, for this episode, I'm trying to get within 20 to th maybe 30 or 35 minutes because I don't want to take over an hour on this scenario or any other scenario because I don't know if people can keep their attention at, for that long. I would hope so, but they normally, I don't know. In my personal experience, I often, if a video is too long, I either don't watch it or I end up like skipping over it within half the time it takes to watch the whole video. Okay, I need to probably find some chapstick or something for myself. So Sivaru. And here we go, bird's bees. Hopefully that helps a little bit with as far as speaking goes. So let's see if I can get the rogues guild. Because they often cost way less than the priestesses do. So once those are, um, the rogues are, what's it called, recruited, 
that will help generate more gold a lot faster and then I can continue recruiting the um, temple of crypto priestesses and I hope I get enough money to get the uh, level raised to level 2 so they can bring in more income for their poison weapons Our new building is complete. So I can recruit up to or the price went up, so maybe two more at least. No, just one at the moment, so I'll have to wait another little bit. Whenever I get the larger income, I would uh, level the marketplace up to t level 3 and then research the tele teleportation uh, necklaces, amulets, or whatever. And it seems one of my priestesses had died. Let's continue recruiting those Pestilence rogues and, and then focus on the marketplace afterwards. hate these things minotaurs they are super um strong <laughs> there are some maps later on where these things like are on every single side of the map like in a huge line all the way down uh up and down the different directions and when that happens, I usually lose within like two or three minutes because there are so many and so few heroes I cannot do much about it. And then we have the goblins here. <coughs> My ambition has These are okay when they're on their own, but when they're in a swarm of goblins, that's whenever you have issues so let's recruit another let's no that'll cause 300 gold doing that I don't want to do that oh well it seems it was killed anyway so <coughs> Let's level up the marketplace and I gain more gold. So I have <coughs> so said in a previous video that this game I've been playing the game since like the year 2000 and it's really fun so if you can manage to find a copy I highly recommend grabbing it they also have the northern expansion pack and also the uh, majesty I think it's majesty gold edition which has both the original game and the expansion both in the same package and then they have majesty 2 that's out however my computers do not play that one very well
So let's see. Um, go ahead and recruit that last one. And then I'll, afterwards I'll focus on uh, upgrading the rogue, rogue skill to level 2. I also probably should upgrade this stuff. That'll make the heroes harder to kill. I'm out of here. I see they have trouble with the trail at the moment. <laughs> Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Another goblin. And the trolls are attracted to the marketplaces and any other place that holds gold. That's why they keep attacking these areas. So let's get the weapons upgraded. That means they will pay more money at the blacksmith and gain more gold for the kingdom. And luckily the whole map is, or almost the whole map is, uh, revealed. Let's see if I can get the last two priestesses. Um... Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. So I got two more to recruit. Go ahead and do armor. <clears throat> so, so, now I can save up the money, upgrade the palace to level 3. Tax collector. And that will allow me to build the fairgrounds afterwards. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. So the question is, should I invest in the blacksmith even more to gain more money or just wait it out? Um, or maybe wait until... I can upgrade the palace and then do the blacksmith to afford the fairgrounds. Because I'm sure you have to go out and collect the um, some kind of thing from one of these places. It'll be either this one or down here if that's the case. Retrieving the um, I think there's some kind of potion or magic or something you have to do. So it seems we're getting up there and as far as money goes. helps I have them have the minimum uh, minimum pick up at 50 because they can skip over the houses with like 10 gold or whatever so they don't have to waste all their time on that I think it's about time to upgrade Or it would if I had the, all the heroes needed. Let's 
get those two out. So once I hit the 3,563 gold I can upgrade and then maybe build a new guild, possibly the Cultist Guild to give the uh, kingdom more fighters. Looks like it's about time to upgrade the castle, so there we go. Did I ever do the teleportation? No, I don't. Nope. That may be the next thing I do. should be getting another notes. Yep. Your palace has reached the highest level, but before you can build a fairgrounds, you must destroy the nearby dark castle to recover ingredients for a hardened ground spell. This will make the swamp stable. So, I need to go out here. And attack. How do you have 500 for now? As I gain more money, I can level up the attack flag. So three people so far has seen the flag. <clears throat> I think 700 is a good number so I'll leave them to it and then I can save up the money for the fairgrounds. See how much it is, I don't remember. So it'll probably won't show up until after they take the treasure to the palace. See how much hit points that has. So the fairgrounds are a really good uh, way to make more money and also to level up your characters without them being in a combat situation and when they level up they'll gain more spells and uh, statistics and everything f or stats for them which is a really good thing if you're playing on a difficult level and they can do the tournament in the fairgrounds without being uh, killed outside and gain all the benefits of fighting regular enemies. So, si 
So I wonder what's going to come out of there once the castle is uh, destroyed. I don't remember. Still waiting. There we go. Oh, a vampire. I wonder if she can tame it or not. She might be able to, though, with her... No? Drain life and animate skeletons, so she doesn't have... the um, undead thing yet. You have destroyed the dark castle and recovered the needed items to harden the ground. Now go build a fairgrounds and prove your worth as ruler. So I can build it now so that should I don't think I need to Kill the vampire though. I think once the fairgrounds are built, then I win. So, here come the peasants. Too bad I don't have the healing spell from the courtist temple because then I could have saved the uh, priestess. I'll make a new one though. If I had the gnomes in this one they would have made short work of the fairgrounds because they're like super fast with building stuff. to building a bright future for the kingdom. Your mother, the late queen, would be very proud of your accomplishment. And from here you can see the statistics like total gold and balance and buildings and heroes and all that stuff if you wanted to see it. You can continue playing if you want to to fill the map up if you, or do little challenges for yourself. However, I'm going to go to the main menu and play a new scenario. So I'm going to end the episode here. It's only 29 minutes, so I made my um, made the time limit I put myself under. So if you enjoyed the video, you can make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Um, Leave a comment down below if you need, if you'd like to. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.